trying to gum up things here at the waterworks? No, don't bother me, Leroy. I'm busy. Say, you're not monkeying with that new type filter invention of yours again. You bet I am. I'm going to figure out why this doesn't work. Yeah, look out, Leroy. I'm going to try it again. Here you go. Oh, confound it. It's still doing just the reverse of what it's supposed to do. Yeah, instead of filtering the junk out of the drinking water, it dumps them right into it. I think there's something wrong with it, Alex. You know, I've got that impression, too. Yeah, but look, if the filter works backward, then why can't you turn something around and make it work rightwards? Well, that's just what I'm doing. Let me look at my drawings again. Right, George, I know what's wrong. My snifter valve is backwards. Good work, Gunk. Now you're getting somewhere. Just, uh, just keep out of the way, Leroy. <laughs> no wonder the city engineer wouldn't okay my invention. Well, now that you found out what the trouble is, it ought to work. Yeah, okay. Now let's try it again. Yeah, look at that. Ah, it worked. Uh, what do you know? Yeah, I've done it. My filter works. Isn't that something? Uh, look at that drinking water. Pure as the driven snow. Not one bit of debris goes into the water. Nothing? Not one single bit. No, nope, because now the debris is pouring out all over the floor of the pump house. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Anybody from Mud Pie? <laughs> Leroy. <laughs> Don't forget to hang up your coat. Haven't taken it off yet, Unc. That's no excuse. Hang it up anyway. Oh, something tells me you're not quite home yet. What are you talking about? I just came in. I think your mind is still out at the waterworks for the new filter improvement. Well, maybe it is at that. You know, it's a real nice feeling when you've worked on an invention for a long time and finally get it to work. Yeah, let's go out to the kitchen and see what Bertie's giving us for dinner. Yeah, but, Unc... Yeah, something certainly smells mighty good. But, Unc, wait a minute. What's that? Unc, you forgot to hang up your coat. Oh. I thought I heard you men folks coming in. Well, evening, Bertie. Hi, Bertie. Say, we got exciting news for you and all the housewives in Summerfield. The price of coffee's come down? No, but the water you make it in is going to be lots less muddy. Bertie's been making muddy coffee? No, 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 Bertie. <laughs> yeah, I meant your washing is going to be less muddy. <laughs> you mean the washing's been muddy? Tattletail Gray is telling on me? <laughs> No, 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 Bertie, that isn't it at all. Leroy and I have been out at the waterworks trying out my new filter, and it works great now. You mean that filter doodad you've been fooling with around here so long? Yeah, that filter doodad. It's going to be a great improvement in the city's water system. It'll cut down costs, too. Well, that's just fine, Miss Gilsey. How does it work? Tell her, Aunt. Tell her how it, um, and also it, um, you tell her, Aunt. Well, yes, I'll be glad to explain how it works, Bertie. You see, this filter will just about eliminate clay baffles, settling tanks, chlorinators... Laws and me. ...and even connecting pipes and valves, perhaps even a bypass. Well, my land. Now, tell me, Miss Gilsleeve, how does it work? Well, it, it just about eliminates... Well, it also does away with the... It, it, Bertie, take my word for it. You'll be glad I invented it. <laughs> well, I'm mighty glad right now. Isn't Mark a great guy? There's practically no limit to his talent. Oh, well, now, I didn't say You're that. so clever, it sometimes sort of frightens me, Unc. Now, Leroy. Just kidding, Unc. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, thanks, my boy. You know, the first thing in the morning, I'm going down to the mayor's office and tell him this finally works. Because now I can get the city engineer's approval and put this thing through. You think the mayor will go along with you this time, Unc? What else can he do? I've got him over a barrel. If he thinks he can push me aside this time with my new filter, he's all wet. Mayor Twilliger. Oh, hello, Gildersleeve. Come in. It's nice to see you. Sorry I haven't time to talk to you. This is one of my busy days. It was nice seeing you. Good day, Gildersleeve. Yeah, goodbye, you man. No, wait a minute. You know, I've got something important to say, and by George, I'm not leaving until I do. It's about my water filling. You call that important? Well, now, if you look at these drawings... I've seen those drawings. I've got copies of them right out there in my files. I tell you, it'll never work, Gildersleeve. Yeah, and I tell you, it does work. The trouble was that my snifter valve was on backwards. And so's your head. <laughs> 
Mr. Mayor, this filter is important to the health and welfare of the citizens of Summerfield. Even of the state. Huh. Now, now, look. What would you do if someone told you that when they turned on a faucet, a barracuda jumped out at them? Killed a sleeve. Well, a good-sized tadpole. A what? A small minnow. What's that? Well, the water might smell fishy. No. <laughs> no, honestly, Mr. Mayor, these fillers should be installed all over the state. They'll protect the public's health. Now, if this were presented to the governor... Governor McWhorter wouldn't look at it unless it was approved by the state engineer. And he wouldn't look at it unless it was approved by the city engineer. And he wouldn't approve it... Yeah, but they will approve it now because it works. You, when you think of the protection it'll give the state's health and how little it'll cost, why, the man who presents this to the governor will be highly honored. Gildas Lever! Oh, oh, uh, highly honored, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'll bet they'd even erect a statue to such a man. I suppose you picture yourself as the state's favorite drip? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not. Mr. Mayor, why are you so against my filter? I'm not against it. Well, then why aren't you for it? Because I'm against it. The... Gildersleeve, I haven't any more time to waste. In ten minutes, I'll be laying a cornerstone. Now I've got to rehearse my speech. Yeah, but Mr. Mayor... Ladies and gentlemen of Summerfield, my heart is filled with pride as I stand yeah, listen, before Mayor you Twilliger. with my trowel in hand... If you'd speak to the governor... ...the cornerstone Mr. Mayor. of Summerfield's yeah, finest fish market. Oh. <laughs> now, look, I won't take up any more of your valuable time, but just remember, Mr. Mayor, a Gildersleeve never gives up. Good day. Well, hmm. Geraldine, look in the files out there and bring me the drawings under City Plans 906B. And will you also make reservations for me on the 330 plane to the state capitol? <laughs> What can I do for you this afternoon? No, I'm out of cigars, Peter. Very well. It's been a nice day, hasn't it, Mr. Gildersleeve? Not where I've been. My, my, where have you been? Well, among other places, the mayor's office. <laughs> no wonder you're at outs with the world. What did that pipsqueak have to say today that the world could do without? He said no. <laughs> it must have been something really good, then. If it was completely worthless, he'd jump at it. Yeah, I was talking to him this morning about my improved water filter. Oh, well, that's something else again. <laughs> no, PV. <laughs> my filter works. I found out what's wrong. No, it really worked? It's a great improvement, PV. But I don't know how I'm going to get it to the governor. You know what I think, Mr. Gildersleeve? I think that little powder pigeon to Williger is blocking you because he knows you'd get a lot of honor and glory out of it. And he just couldn't bear to see someone else get ahead. Oh, I don't think that, Peavy. Mr. Gildersleeve, do you know what you should do? Take your drawings to the state capitol yourself and show them to the governor. Yeah, but how could I get to him? Yeah, I might get there and he wouldn't even see me. Hey, I'm glad I found you, Uncle. Yeah, has Bertie got dinner ready? Uh, search me. Hi, Mr. Peavy. My, my, your motor's running. Yeah, I know. I, I got something to tell you. I was just in a telegraph office. Who were you sending a telegram to? I wasn't. I was talking to Piggy. You know he works there. You, you call him if you want a messenger boy. But I don't need a messenger boy. No, no. Now, now listen. Now, Piggy said he wondered what the mayor was up to. It's called Dugger here. I missed my guess. Well, the mayor sent a wire to the governor saying he'd gotten the city engineer's final approval and he was leaving on a fee 30 plane with a drawings for an important city plan that would benefit the entire state. What's that? That's making the glass a double crossing you, Mr. Gildersleeve. He's taking my drawings to the governor himself. Oh, I can't believe he'd do a thing like that. I can. It's the kind of thing he'd do at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Confound it. I'll take a plane and see the governor myself. Oh, I'm having time to catch the 3.30 plane, and that's the only one today. Well, you can take the train tonight. The Santa Fe chief will get you there first thing in the morning. The mayor may not be able to see the governor until then anyway. By George, I'll do it. Hello, boy, I'll get the old fighting spirit. Good for you, Mr. Gildersleeve. Yeah, I'll fix that scoundrel. You know, I never thought he'd stoop to such an underhanded trick. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Under the seat, 
sleep, sir. Oh, Yo, just under the... Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to jostle you. Uh, that's all right, sir. You have to be careful when the train lurches. Yeah, uh, I'll watch it. Is dinner still being served? Yes, sir. Just a second call for dinner, sir. Yeah, I always enjoy eating on the train. <laughs> uh, next car beyond the diner, and the diner's two cars down. Uh, I'll make up your berth later, sir. Uh, do you have a lower or upper? Yeah, I have the upper. Yeah, I wanted the lower, but the lower was taken, so I had to take the upper. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, whenever you're ready to make the ascension, I'll bring the steps. Oh, my goodness. Sounds like he's talking about a balloon. <laughs> uh, how do you like to go to sleep, sir? Feet first or head first? Well, I like to go to sleep all over. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I mean, do you like to ride forward or backward to the engine? <laughs> forward at all times. I'm not a bit backward. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, yes, thank you, Porter. And this is for the trouble you've gone to and the trouble you'll have later getting me into that upper berth. Yes, sir. Looks like a lot of trouble ahead. You uh, said the diner was down this way? Uh, that's right, sir. Two cars. Yeah, thanks. My, make these cars a little narrow. Yeah, this must be the drawing room car. <laughs> yeah, I haven't got my train legs yet. <laughs> Narrow here, too. <laughs> you oh. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry. The train lurched. <laughs> Hope I didn't hurt you. You nearly flattened me, that's all. Oh, dear, everything spilled out of my purse. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Here, let me pick up your things. It's all right. I'll get them. Never mind. Yo, <laughs> what did I step on? My compact. You. Sorry. Yeah, I'll replace it. I wonder which one of us will have the seven years bad luck. Well, it depends upon whether I'll see you again or not. Mm. <laughs> That's what I mean. I wonder which of us will have the seven years bad luck. <laughs> oh, no, please. Don't be angry. Nancy. Well, first you bump against me and almost knock me down, and then... How did you know my name was Nancy? It's written on the top of your compact. Uh, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, if you'll allow me to introduce myself. I would much rather you didn't. Yeah, but Miss uh, uh, Nancy, yeah, I've apologized. Uh, I said I'd replace the compact. What more can I do? Well, if it's geometrically possible, I would like to get past. Yeah, oh, well, certainly. <laughs> yeah, I, I think perhaps I can make it if you inhale. Yeah, all right. Now, hold it now like I get by. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> Don't mention it. <laughs> Any time. <laughs> yeah, perhaps we'll uh, meet again. What did you say? Yeah, I said perhaps we'll meet again. That's what I thought you said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess she didn't understand what I said. <laughs> My, she's an attractive girl. <laughs> I think I'm going to enjoy this trip much more than I thought I would. <laughs> Ah, it's been a pleasant trip so far. I always enjoy a train ride. Lance call for dinner. Lance call for dinner. Yeah, well, I'd better hurry along. <laughs> Sorry, train lurched again. Did I hurt you? Oh, that's all right, sir. When an immovable object meets an irresistible force, something's just bound to happen. <laughs> first, first call for breakfast, second call for lunch. Last cover. Oh, just come and get it, folks. <laughs> well, I worked. You know, I did shake him up a bit. <laughs> well, I'd better hurry. <laughs> Wonder how I'm going to get through this stateroom quarter after I eat dinner. <laughs> they may have to stop the train and let me go around outside. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, no. Zeke! <laughs> well, I see you are still at large, and I do mean large. <laughs> uh, here, let me help you pick up your things again. Huh? How can it be you again? I just get around, I guess. <laughs> but you went to dinner once. You no, know, no, as a matter of fact, I didn't. You see, after we, uh, shall we say, bumped into each other? Mm. 
<laughs> yes, let's do say that. <laughs> well, I went back to change my tie to see if it'd bring me luck, and by George, it did. <laughs> Maybe I should go back into my compartment and change my earrings and see what that'd do for my luck. Oh, now, listen. If you just have dinner with me, I'm sure I can persuade you to forgive me. I've had my dinner, thank you. Yeah. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going back into my room and close the door and lock it. Then I'm going to count slowly to 3,000. By that time, surely it'll be safe to venture out again. You open fancy. You poo. This train's making better time than I am. Here you are, sir. Nice piece of chocolate pie. Piled high with whipped cream. Yeah. This will make me feel like a new man. <laughs> there was something to make Nancy feel like a new man. Yeah, well. Might as well forget it and have a big, luscious bite of... No. Oh. Oh, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I've, I've ruined your pie. I was just going to take my first bite. And now you're wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wipe your face. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. I'll order you another one. Face? No, pie. <laughs> uh, please don't be mad at me. Yeah. How could anyone be mad at you? <laughs> you know, this could be the start of a beautiful friendship. <laughs> Why don't we go into the Pleasure Dome car and get started? No, that's where I was going. Well, what are we waiting for? <laughs> this way. Yeah. How about this? Isn't this cozy? Oh, this is a magnificent view from here. It's such a clear night, you can even see the outlines of the hills. Yeah. Have you uh, noticed the moon? See? Up there in the sky? And yes, that's where it usually is. Hey. <laughs> well, the, the stars are up there, too. Yeah, I made special arrangements. <laughs> well, twinkle, twinkle. <laughs> you know, you haven't told me your name. You know, I haven't? It's uh, Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. <laughs> well, hello, Throckmorton. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, Summerfield's water commissioner. Well, I'm very impressed. Yes, I'm on my way to the state capitol to show the governor my new filter I've invented for the water department. <laughs> well, I'm even more impressed. If I can get it through that thick head of his, what an important invention this is. It'll benefit the whole state. Well, well, I do wish you and your filter lots of luck. <laughs> Thank you. I'll probably need it. Well, this has been very pleasant, but I think I'll go on back to my compartment. I always read a while before going to sleep. Oh, not so soon. Yeah, listen, I have to have your address so I can send you a new compact. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning and give you my address. Then you won't forget it. Yeah, don't worry. If I get it, I won't forget it. Fresh off, sir? Oh, yes, yes, thank you. I uh, don't suppose you've seen anything of that young lady I was with last night? No, sir. <laughs> Maybe she's mad at me again. Uh, did you say something, sir? No, no, I was just... Uh, 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 just... If you stoop over, I can't brush you off, sir. You know, I was trying to look out the window. You look at all the people and the photographers down there on the platform. <laughs> oh, that's the governor standing over there. But I don't know the other man. Oop, no, I do. That's Mayor Terwilliger. Here you are, Porter. I've got to get out there right away. Hey, he's there with the governor and the photographers. He's taking all my glory. <laughs> Pardon me. Pardon me, madam. Got to get through. <laughs> what a double cross this is. He's probably claiming he invented it. Go, oh, Mayor. Mayor Twilliger, Mr. Mayor. You bet. Here I am. What are you doing here? The same thing you are. I came to show the governor my invention. Sir Williger, who is this man? Governor McWhorter, this is Summerfield's water commissioner, Throckmorton P. Gildersleeve. How do you do? Yeah, glad to know you, Governor. Uh, well, Mr. Mayor, aren't you going to tell him who I really am? Okay, if it'll make you happy, you're Summerfield's water commissioner. Yeah, that's not what I mean, and you know it. Tell him that it's really my invention. It is not. Oh, I suppose you've been telling it's yours. It certainly is. 
What's the matter with you, Gildersleeve? And I haven't claimed to find out. I've got to catch my train. Now, just a minute. I don't know what this is all about, but whoever owns the invention, I've turned it down. You've turned it down? But you couldn't. Think what it would mean to the entire state. Much too costly to put into operation. Oh, but it would cut down expenses. I doubt if it would work. Yeah, but it does work. It's no use, Gildersleeve. He's just not interested. Naturally, I'm all for anything that would keep people from being run over, but this is too complicated. Yeah, but it's very simple. It's... Run over, and the stop and go signs would be hard to install. The installation would be the easiest part. Stop and go sign. You can't change his mind, Gildersleeve. He's definitely not interested in my plans for a new traffic. But system. I explained how his traffic system. Wait a minute. You you were showing him plans for a traffic system? Certainly. I've worked on this for years. What did you think I was here for? Well, I thought. What I mean is. <laughs> but you see... Hilda I... Sleeve, stop sputtering. I've got to catch my train. I'll see you when you get back to Summerfield. Yeah, just forget anything I said, Mr. Mayor. It was just a mistake. You bet it was, and you made it. <laughs> Governor, drop in and see us any time you're down our way, won't you? You bet I will. Sorry it didn't work out. Goodbye. Goodbye, Governor. Goodbye. Nice to have seen you, Mr. Williger. Too bad about that mention of his. You know, well, I'm sorry I misunderstood, Governor, but... I was talking about another invention. You see... I see you, too, have already met. Why, Nancy. Nancy. Hello, Dad. <laughs> Hello, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you surprised, Throckmorton? Look at his face, Daddy. He's flabbergasted. He, at least. <laughs> Daddy, this is a friend of mine, and he has a perfectly wonderful new invention for a filter to purify water. He has? Mm. Well, why didn't he say so? He, well, I was just about to. You're the very man I want to see. What this state needs is an improved system of filters installed in every single pump house. It does? Oh, yes. Of course it does. <laughs> My dad isn't so thick-headed after all, is he? <laughs> He's one of the thinnest heads I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> does that make up for the chocolate pie I ruined? Uh, you bet. That's the best piece of chocolate pie I ever wore. <laughs> <laughs> 